cross body clean press. So this is going to be two different variations that you can play with. The start, not variation, is going to be two hands. You're going to need a kettlebell for this option today. Um, but two hands is going to be a great place to start to get the movement pattern figured out because it's a little bit different if you're used to doing traditional strong first style cleans. It's going to be a little bit different because we're changing the angles of your body. So we're starting off with two hands and then I'll show you the one-handed version if you are ready to advance this movement. All right. Now, things to be aware of when you're getting into this lift is hip stability and hip um, evenness so that you're not popping one hip out or rotating in any different way. And same with your shoulders. Making sure your shoulders don't rotate one open, one closed. You do keep that nice wide open collarbones, shoulders down and away from your ears. All right. So to start off, you're going to turn your feet at about a 45 degree angle and you're going to have that kettlebell in line with the arch of your feet. So you're going to sit your tailbone back, loading through your hamstrings here, trying to avoid that hip pop out. Keep your hips nice and square. Lean back that tailbone. You're going to feel that front leg, the hamstring is loaded quite heavily. This leg is still loaded in the hamstring, but you're also going to feel it in your quadricep. So two hands on your kettlebell, you're going to hip drive, bring it up, and you're going to rotate over to press. You'll notice that that back foot, my heel comes up and my toe is planted. What this is going to do is help you avoid that low back sway. So it's going to keep your glutes active. You're going to come back into center, back down. You can even come up onto your toes in the back leg to load the hamstring a little bit more. Hip drive. Center, press through, back in. Down, clean, center, press through. If this is per side, just remember that you're gonna alternate out from your leading side to your second side, okay? Now, single arm, same movement pattern, but now you're in that 45 degrees and one hand on your kettlebell. You're going to clean it up from here, hip drive, so you're using this hamstring and this hamstring, come all the way up, into rack, press as you rotate. Come back in and back down. Hips are sit back, hips are nice and square. Take your time to find the right position here. Don't rush your way through this move, it's quite slow, just so you can figure it out. Clean, into center, rotate, to press. We are working a lot of different muscles in this lift here. At the top, make sure you get to that lock hip in your elbow, but we're rotating through our core, we're rotating through the hips a little bit, engaging hip flexors, the glutes, core tight, down to the lats, it's a full body move here. So take your time to play with it, but that is your cross body clean to press, both the two handed and single arm version. Play with wherever you're at today and then start to advance when you're ready.